Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now today we're talking about a well-known topic throughout the community. I'm pretty sure most of you would have heard of this by now, and uh, but we have more breaking news on it. And it's basically another story about Suzy Lou. Now before we start the video, could you guys please join my Discord, link in the description. And if we can get 15 likes in 24 hours, that would be great. And also we're trying to hit 600 subs by May, so any help with that would be greatly appreciated. So uh, it's free, so make sure you hit the subscribe button. But today we're talking about a YouTuber known as Suzy Lou, and I know you might be thinking that I'm just making another video on this for views, but to be honest, there's another side of the story which I don't think a lot of people know about. Yet. But before I talk about that, let's just give a brief rundown on basically what's happened so far throughout this whole situation. Because the drama that's surrounding Suzy Lou has gotten a bit ridiculous at this point. So Suzy Lou is a reaction channel. And many people don't like reaction channels because they think that those sort of channels just go to any popular video and just take someone else's hard work and pretty much just sit there and profit for themselves. Now back in 2015, 2016, I would have been someone who would agree with that statement. Because people like Jinx and all that were just pretty much, that they, they weren't even like making proper content. And as the years went on, more and more commentary videos start to come out on these reaction channels from current commentary YouTubers such as Kavos. And the genre pretty much went out of fashion, no one liked them, forcing most of them to either quit or just, just quit, like that's all. But eventually in 2018, 2019, for whatever reason, they just came back. No one knows why. And now we got people like Flight Reacts pulling 1 mil views every single video, which is insane since like two years ago, he would have been getting like 20k. So Suzy Lou back in, what was it, 2018, saw the sudden rise of these channels and thought Thought this would be a great opportunity to profit and just basically make a ton of reaction videos. Now you might be thinking, well that's alright, it's just reaction videos. But there's a huge problem to this. And she gained a lot of subs from this and basically what, what she did was, is she reacted to full length animes, uncut, unclipped, just basically sat there watching a full movie. Which is wrong for a number of reasons that involve copyright and don't fall under fair use. And honestly I can completely agree, like you can't just react to full length movies that people have to pay money for. You're basically just putting out a bunch, you're, you're, you're just putting out videos basically that people have to pay for and ba that you're putting it out there for free, like it's illegal. But uh, since we're a great community at YouTube, no one snitched and for a few years until about 2019. Some commentary YouTubers started making videos criticizing her, basically saying that those anime videos that she was reacting to did not fall under fair use at all, which they didn't, by the way. But uh, unfortunately for them commentary YouTubers, Suzy Lou didn't like that. And uh, unfortunately for them, Suzy Lou has contacts with YouTube, which uh, I, I, I don't know if it's probably not legal. And recently, Suzy Lou decided to start taking down people's videos for uh, for defamation of character or just basically for harassment and bullying, which is not the case. And people didn't like that for obvious reasons because big channels were getting strikes on their channel for completely the wrong reasons. And everyone on Twitter started bashing her, like everyone was tweeting about it, everyone was making videos. And now we're at a point now where she it's impossible to take down every single video on the platform and that's the point where I make this video. There's no way when everyone's channels were getting taken down and struck that I was going to be making videos because I ain't having a strike on my channel, 100%. Basically, after all these tweets came out on Suzy Lou, she decided to respond to them and Jesus Christ, that they were ridiculous. And you might be wondering why I'm not showing any of the tweets and uh, there's actually that's why I'm making this video today. Since she was tweeting out all this ridiculous stuff and I don't have any screenshots, unfortunately, but she was basically saying that, uh, oh, she, she wasn't... She she wasn't making any of those strikes and it's it's all YouTube taking down their content, which is false. It was her doing it the whole time. So everyone replied negatively to these tweets that she was making and rightly so. I mean, like, it's such a stupid thing to tweet. Like, if, if you're tweeting all this stuff, basically being hypocritical, like, I'm pretty sure there's videos out there, like, from, like, Optimus and all that showing how much of a hypocrite she is, so I'll, I might link them in the description. But anyway, this went on for a few days and people's videos were getting taken down and it got to the point where Keemstar responded to the whole drama and he basically put a Twitter video out and the twenty the Twitter video goes for about three minutes so I'll play a bit of that now and basically he mentions at YouTube and Susan Wojcicki and uh, yeah I'll play the video hello YouTube I'm taking as many YouTube people as I know just to to get attention to the situation because it's pretty important as you know I'm Keemstar I run Dromler big platform that talks about stuff going on in the community I think we can both agree that the communication with YouTube and its creators has not been perfect so when a small creator is dealing with an issue of a video being taken down or their channel gets hacked or something and they're not having luck trying to reach YouTube, they come to me, Drama Alert, to report on it, to get it more attention so the right thing can happen. Recently, I've been aware of a situation where one of your employees might be compromised and might be making a big mistake. I'm not sure, but I'm going to tell you what's going on. The issue revolves around this YouTuber known as Suzy Lou. 
roughly about a year ago, I, a bunch of people were making videos criticizing Suzy Lou, and she filed a copyright strike to take down their videos. Those videos were clearly fair use, but this isn't just a fair use issue. This is a matter of someone being extremely hypocritical because Suzy Lou has this channel and the content is her reacting to full length animes. So because you have this YouTube creator reacting to full length animes, which is probably not under fair use, and then other YouTubers are criticizing her and she's filing copyright strikes, this hypocrisy is going to make people want to make videos and talk about the situation. And that's exactly what happened. Now, many YouTubers in the commentary community, which is a very important community, that's what makes us a community because they're talking about what's going on in the YouTube community. They're making videos talking about her being hypocritical and now she has a YouTube contact that is flagging these videos and taking down this criticism, flagged as harassment and bullying, which has now caused this whole commentary community to now make even more videos because of the injustice. I'm being spammed nonstop to make a video on this. And this is just getting bigger and bigger to the point that we're gonna see PewDiePie talking about this. I believe that somebody at YouTube is being manipulated by Suzy Liu and, and, and taking down these videos because like they don't fall under bullying. Some may, but the ones that I've seen being taken down where they're interviewing a lawyer, and to f figure out if Susie Lou is breaking copyright or law or not, how is that? How is that bullying and harassment? YouTube is going to look really, really bad if you guys don't do something about this Susie Lou situation because this is a huge abuse of power. Either someone at YouTube is a fan of this girl and is like breaking the rules to shut down criticism or someone at YouTube is being manipulated and thinks they're doing the right thing when really they're doing the wrong thing. Regardless, Susie Lou isn't gonna be the one with egg on her face, it's gonna be YouTube. So someone has to look at this situation and do the right thing. Now this is the point where the drama gets serious because as you can tell, Keemstar, like, like this, this drama, this could change the whole face of YouTube and commentary videos, which is also part of the reason I'm making this because I myself am a commentary YouTuber and like, I swear, if if I can't be like criticizing people for when they do something wrong, then that YouTube YouTube's done, like YouTube is screwed. And basically saying that how us commentary YouTubers act in all this is how this whole thing will turn out. And after this video, Suzy Lou blocked Keemstar. I mean, it was it was pretty obvious it was gonna happen like instantly after the video came out. So now this drama has been covered by huge YouTubers like Scarce and all that. And you know the thing about Suzy Lou is she could have avoided all this by just accepting the criticism and changing her content, and none of this would have happened. Like she didn't have to like make copyright strikes, like get this out to Keemstar. Like th th this could have all been avoided. And after this, Suzy Lou did uh, basically the unthinkable. After bigging herself up and like. Like tweeting out all this stuff, she decided that it would be best to delete her activity on Twitter so no one could see it. Now this could have happened for a number of reasons and I'll go over them now. One is that Twitter could have deleted them, so basically Twitter, they, they saw all the drama that was coming out and they were like, no, this is not good in our platform, so they just deleted it. This is mostly unlikely because, they, like, Twitter's just full of drama, that's legit all it is. And number two is that she, she could have deleted them, which is most likely, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Because she realised how bad she looked on Twitter and, you know, brand deals or something, I've got no idea. So anyway, after all this, my thoughts on Suzy Lou, like, j just get off the platform, honestly. Like, I, I, I hate saying that about people, but seriously, she's been abusing the copyright system for years now, and people, like, p people people need to speak more about this. We need to get people like PewDiePie to speak about, like, like big YouTubers, like, we need this out there because if this doesn't get talked about then like YouTube, it, commentary YouTubers could just disappear. And Suzy Lou knows what she's doing, like she knows what she's doing. But all their tweets act like she's got no idea and YouTube are taking down her content, it's all crap. Anyway, that's it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed and uh, one like equals one delete Suzy Lou. Okay, I probably shouldn't say that because YouTube will strike me down for harassment. No, but you know, this video is probably going to get taken down anyway, so I don't know why I've even made this video. But uh, yeah, that's it, uh, 15 likes, 24 hours, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one, bye.